Will they find serenity with a new identity? This week, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee sent out an email blast asking people to vote on a new slogan for bumper stickers for the midterm elections. How sad. As expected, they're all horrendous. Resistant persists. She persisted, we resisted. Oh, they can rhyme. And Democrats 2018, I mean, have you seen the other guys? That's real. <laughs> Of course, they were quickly mocked online. So we came up with a few of our own. Here's my uh, first one, if you can look at that. Okay, there you go. Vote Democrat, and we won't call you a bigoted, <laughs> racist, homophobe. <laughs> Democrats, we'll stop Y2K. <laughs> Way ahead of things, you know what I mean? What do we want? I don't know. <laughs> when do you want it? Not sure. <laughs> Democrats, show me the money so we can waste it on things you don't need. <laughs> Democratic Party, where you could be president. Seriously, are you interested? <laughs> the Democratic Party, the place to go if you're scared of winning. <laughs> Finally, Last one, the Democratic Party, we have candy. <laughs> Candy's the name of a teenager. They're holding ransom. If you yes. don't vote, she's dead. All right. Tyrus. Yes. Do you have any better ones that we haven't thought of? Uh, yeah. How about coming to the thousands? Uh, you can <laughs> tell this is why Pelosi has to go. What? All right, guys, we're going to get the party going. Let's get button pins, car <laughs> bumper stickers. Maybe we'll get a hot air balloon across the city. It'll be great. We'll be popcorn. It'll be, we'll have a parade with jugglers and circus and a clown. It's the thousands. No one puts bumper stickers on their car. It's New York. How many people have bumper stickers? How many people have bumpers? My, yeah, my dad always told me to make it too easy for the police to find me, and I shouldn't do it. Not to mention, in every town, there's one guy. You'll see one guy driving a car with like 60 bumper stickers on his car, and we all hate that guy. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> So, bumper stickers. Great call, Phil. Yeah, that's great. Why not buggy whips? Buggy whips? <laughs> Democratic buggy whips. You can just, it'll be great. It'll be awesome. Wear your pants up to here. Look buff when you're chubby. It's, it's a Democratic party. Buff when you're chubby. Why are they still using Hillary Clinton to try to win? I know. And uh, have you seen the other guys? It's like, have you seen the campaign that you ran off of the strategy of? Have you seen the other guys? Because you lost. Yeah. It's time to have something to offer. Jamie, how bad how bad were those? Would uh, did they would they make you vote? They were awful, right? Yeah, were, yeah. As we're talking about this, man, I wish I had written some of these. Wait a second. <laughs> on this piece of paper under my leg. Uh, this is a list of some of the actual alternates that they were thinking about doing. Uh, just do it next time. <laughs> and this one is uh, Hillary, 2020. The presidency is one job. We want a robot to take over. <laughs> Make America pretty good again. <laughs> and then, and then Trump submitted one. I find this one honestly offensive. He, I don't, I'm not. Even, I'll just read it. So he wanted it like the a bumper sticker that a Democrat would put on their car. He wanted to just say, "Baby on board." <laughs> <laughs> Last word, Jillian. I, 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 how important is a good slogan? Is it? Well, I was just thinking. The one that you had that said, she persisted, we resisted. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Oh, yeah, that's. She persisted, we resisted. <laughs> that would be the best GOP bumper sticker <laughs> yes, for, the, that, for 2020 true. ever. That is true. That is true. Then it would be an amazing bumper sticker. Or like, GOP, the champ is here. That'd be good yeah. too. Yeah. And then another one could be, Bill insisted, you come back to his hotel room. <laughs> Come on, man. And then, the, and then the doctor. He's older now. Man. I don't know. It is kind of sad, though, asking for suggestions. It's like it's like when you were a kid and you asked people if they'd come to your birthday party if you had one. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Anyway, coming up, how the president's genius plan is already curbing illegal immigration. We prove once and for all that President Trump is the wall. Yeah.